reference to young calves and keeping them walking straight, one thing, and then teaching them how to turn after you uh, lead train them and they're first in the yoke, which that can be a challenge. It's really just about being persistent with turns. So if you're lead training them, they don't have to worry about another animal in the yoke. So when you put them in the yoke, it kind of throws them off a little bit. So the key with, with haw turning is to teach your off one to come up and have your near one stay still and then to make a G turn, just the opposite. And that's where you'll see with these guys, even though they're four and a half months old, they still have an issue with the uh, G turns. He wants to come up. So it is pretty much just a step-by-step -step process of being consistent through the whole term. So if I'm going to haul them, I'll give them the command, give them a second to think about it, and then start with my off animal coming around and try to keep the stick in front of his nose. So I'm kind of going back and forth. And if they don't do what I want them to do, we stop immediately and then I reset them. The other thing to, make, to take into consideration when you're training calves in a yoke to turn is make sure that they're, they're um, even with one another, their noses are in the same spot. Because if one is up too far or behind, then that'll throw you off. You want to start from an even playing field, so reset them every time. And that'll also train them for when they stop, that they need to stop in the same position. So I'll bring them up just a little bit and then make a hot turn. Come up, boys. Come up. Come up. Come on, Sven. Come up. Come up. Oh! Stay. All right, so they're nice and even with one another, so we'll make a hot turn. Haw. 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 Haw, and just keeping that lash in front of my near one's nose. Haw, 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 haw. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Ho! Oh. And that was a really tight turn. So you just sometimes have to take it a little bit at a time um, to make the G turn. For me, this is usually harder because I always stand behind the shoulder and until they're a little bit older and they get used to what I'm trying to train them to do. Sometimes they don't always want to make the G turn, but it's the same principle. So G, G, and I always start by putting my stick right on his nose because I know that he needs to come up and that's what we're trying to train him to do. So G, 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 G. G, 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 come up, come up, come up, whoa, and you can see through the majority of the turn, I'm more concerned with him. If it was a hot turn, I could do the same thing with him. I just have to gauge on who's listening and who's doing what. He needs to come around the off one on a G turn. The off one needs to come around the near one on a hot turn. And that's one of those stepping stones when you put him in a yoke, it can be a little bit hard. But again, we bring him up, come up, come up, come up. Come up. Oh, oh. Okay, let's say we stop them and they're in that position there. What I want to do is back up the one who went too far forward. Spend back. Spend back. Oh, oh, oh. And that way they're nice and even with one another. So even if I have to reset them all the time, that's where I want to start. If I begin training them and they don't quite do it, I'm making a G turn and that off one's coming up. I stop them. I keep that stick right on his nose and then go back and forth until I get him to make a turn. And it may take one step at a time, and it may be a wide turn, but it's just persistence and practice, and then it'll get tighter and tighter. The other thing that they'll do, and actually something I'm fighting with these guys a little bit, is just walking straight. So sometimes there's no rhyme or reason. Um, I find the majority of the time they wanna push into me. It might have to do with my off one, because he's bigger, he's more dominant, and I think he kind of pushes his way over. Again, it's persistence, going six feet, and if they turn, stop them, reset them, physically move them over, go ahead again, and then just go crisscross. Um, if you find that they actually act better going one direction, which is pretty natural for cattle to do, especially if you're going back to the barn, turn 90 degrees and go side to side, back and forth. You kind of want to th throw in some crazy stuff in there for them so that they're not thinking of where they're going. They're just trying to listen to where, they're, where you want them to go. So I don't know if they'll act up, but we'll kind of give you some pointers with that. So come up, boys. Come up. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Oh, oh. Okay, we'll bring them this way and see if they turn. If they turn into me. G, 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 G. Come up, come up, come up, come up, Mike. Come up. Oh, 
Oh, okay. We're kind of heading back to the barn, so my sense is that they're going to turn into me. Now, when they do, when they're young like this, you take the butt end of your stick and you can use this to kind of control it a little bit as far as they'll feel that and they'll keep their distance. Now, you don't want to get them in the habit of always having to feel that to stop turning into you. And you may have to do it to your off one. So my off one is more dominant. He's probably the one pushing the near one over. So I may do that, but I'm going to go a few steps and then I'm going to ease off on this. And if they walk back into it, I'll put a little more pressure and then ease off. And what you'll find is over time, they'll start walking straight. But having them walking in step and straight with one another is just something that it takes a lot of walking and practice to do. So come up, come up boys. Come up, come up. G. Okay, he's walking into me. G. G. My stick on his shoulder. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Ho! Ho! Okay. Easing off every once in a while. And then, you know, I would, if I want to try to work that out of them, I'd, I'd do that for 20 or 30 minutes straight, going back and forth until they get the idea that they need to walk together. Paw. And that'll take some time. Paw. 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 Ike. Paw. Sven. Paw. Come up. Paw. Oh. Okay, so here's another thing that they'll do. They, they want to go back there to where they're being unyoked. So we can't let them do that. We need to keep them going. Paw. Ike. Paw. 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 Come up. Come up. Come up, Sven. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Oh! Good oh, boys. And then if, again, if they start going one way or the other, we stop them and then we reset them and we go forward. If they're walking into us, we can let them walk into the butt end of the stick and then slowly ease off, put in, and then ease off until they start walking straighter, turning them around um, 180 degrees, go the other direction and just be persistent with that back and forth. Um, the other thing that you will run into, um, these guys seem to be acting pretty well right now, but sometimes you almost always have an animal that's ahead or behind. And that is just making sure that you stay on them. I like the lash so I can just kind of twirl it behind them or to speed control in front of them. If my near one's going too fast, I'm gonna keep this like this. If my off one is too fast, I keep it like that. If they walk into it, you're not gonna hurt them. It's just a lash. Um, they'll get the idea though that they need to stay in the right position. Again, it just takes practice. Come up boys. Come up. Come up. Mike, come up. Okay, so he on the offside didn't want to come up right away with his with the near steer. Come up. So we have to keep on him and then the near one is lagging behind. Mike, come up. Now the off one's lagging behind. Come up boys. And now they're kind of walking together. G. Come up. Come up. Come up. Whoa. Good boys. My off one's a little further ahead, so if I wanted to make a turn, again, especially when they're young and we're training them, Ike back, Ike back, Ike back up, Ike back up, oh, oh, good boys, and just reset them that way and start. So, it's no magic bullet, it's a matter of persistence and just don't let them get away with it moving one way or the other. We stop them and we reset them and then we practice again and, you know, you can do it. 20 minutes at a time, 30 minutes at a time when they get a certain age. Same thing, over and over and over, repetition. And then you can mix it up and do all kinds of different things. So that's just one little thing to look out for.